Mike, your boy from Infinity CK hashtag Games. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and Harvard Fitness, and follow my band Divided Dimension on Spotify. I got um, Sans Protein. Well, not really protein. Sans Meal Bars. I got four flavors to review over today, and I want to thank Sans for uh, sending these over. Sans Nutrition. I think that's the company's name. What's the company's name here? SansMealBar.com is where you go. Um, I was doing some research to see how much this shit costs. So they do have a four pack, which is what I got sent to me. And they did, oh shit, they did send this shit for free. They sent me a sample pack of all four flavors that they have. It came in a little box like this. Um, this was nine, they, it's $9 on their website for a sample pack. But after the sample pack, they want $18 for four, okay? Um, so that's the price point if you want to buy a four pack. Then there's a 12 pack for $45. Pretty pricey, right? And then they have a 24 pack for $79. So the more you buy, the more the price keeps getting lower and lower. Um, I think the price is pretty high for sure. Um, but just to try them out for nine bucks for four, that's a good deal. You know, you can try them out and decide whether you like them or not. You know, for nine bucks, that's not bad. But 18 for four, that's really pricey. So if you end up liking them, it will cost you quite a bit. Um, maybe they have some kind of codes and maybe they, maybe you can get it cheaper, but that's what I've seen on their website, so I really don't know. Um, they have four flavors. They have peanut butter and jelly, cherry coquea, coconut, and blueberry. Let's be honest, I don't like coconut. So that one's gonna be interesting, but that's all four flavors I got. And then it came with a nice little card. It's got some card action. It says, real food. Our bars are made of all natural ingredients, fruits, nuts, vegetables, and whole grain oats, ground from the earth, not from the lab. It's simple, but real. It's real food, but real simple. No added sugar. Our products are sweetened with only fiber-rich dates and natural fruits. It's easy to make a tasty bar using added sugars like high fructose and syrups. So we've gone the extra mile by crafting a delicious, all-natural, without any of the bad stuff. Nutritionally rich. Each bar has contains at least 10% of the daily value of 14 essential vitamins and minerals. In fact, Sands Bar includes 26 of the 27 vitamins and minerals that are recommended by the FDA. Perfectly balanced, made from an optimal blend of lean protein, healthy fats, complex carbohydrates, Sands Meal Bars are designed to provide everything you need in a complete meal to fuel your healthy lifestyle. All right, so there's four flavors, no added sugar, no artificial colors, it says the vitamins and minerals. Um, it's made with, this one in particular is made with peanuts, dates, egg whites, dried strawberries, oats, sea salt, spinach powder, and flax seeds. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to have the same kind of base. Yeah, this one's got cashews in it, though, instead of peanuts. The coconut one, I'm assuming it's probably going to have coconut. Yeah, it's got coconut in it. Everything else is kind of the same. Flaxseed, spinach powder. Uh, this one's got dried blueberries because it's a blueberry one. But pretty much all the similar same shit. It says buy meals, give meals. Uh, so they're kind of considering this to be a meal bar, right? So that's why it's so expensive. It's, it's a meal, you know what I'm saying? Um, so this one's 350 calories. Let's see what the varies are. 350, 370, 350, and 380. So they're pretty much the same profile macros. Uh, I'm gonna go over the blueberry one, or I'm gonna go over the most hired one. So 300, probably the peanut one. Nope, strawberry. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly is the highest calorie one by only, by only like 20 calories. So one bar is 21 grams of fat, right? Saturated fat is only 3.5 grams. Uh, then you have 36 carbs, 7 grams of fiber, 22 grams of sugar, zero of those grams are added because it's all coming from natural fruit ingredients, and 17 grams of protein. And then there's like a, a minerals and vitamins breakdown, which is a shit ton, uh, which is obviously 14. Or is it 14? How many? 15. So yeah, there's a, there's a shit ton of vitamins and minerals in here. So this is literally like a meal replacement bar, okay? Um, what else we got here? I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and break open each one. 
one. Let's do the coconut one first because I hate... Nah, let's do coconut last. I hate coconut, so let's do that last. Let's do the peanut butter and jelly one. Break it open. See what we're working with here. Pretty big size bar. Well put together. Definitely looks like it's well put together. some water. Keep it 100 with you guys. <clears throat> it's kind of on the dry side. It's kind of on the dry side. It's a... Uh, <clears throat> It's okay. It's on the dry side. You can definitely tell it's real food. You know, it's got a real food vibe. It's uh, it's not that good though. I mean, I'm making a fucking mess. All right, let's go on. Let's move to the next one. Get shit everywhere here. All right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the blueberry one. Um, it's dry and kind of lacking flavor. And all I'm tasting is like peanuts. Yeah, peanuts is the first ingredient. It's okay. It's not great though. I'll tell you that, it's not great. Let's go ahead and do the blueberry. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Same situation. It looks like a big ass lara bar almost. So you can see the oats and shit. Hmm. It's like a thick, girthy, dense Lara bar. This one's better. But still kind of the same situation. It's very dense, so it's harder to chew. It's definitely taking a long time to chew. Most likely from the dates. Making it really chewy. This one's better. But I'm still over on like not really impressed. Not bad. It's just taking a while to chew. Hmm. It's okay. This one's the best one so far. Let's go and bust open the cherry one. Same thing. Uh, looks like a big ass fucking oatmeal Lara bar. Hmm. We can clearly see the almonds, oats, every ingredient you 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 read about, you see for sure. This one's interesting. I don't know if cherry, I don't know if cherry mixes well with these ingredients. <clears throat> yeah, the texture is just really chewy. And it's kind of lacking flavor. I think they're all pretty much the same. As far as like consistency and stuff, they're all pretty much the same. As far as flavor, the blueberry one, the best one. I'm dreading this one, guys. Fucking coconut. Yeah, 
It takes forever to chew this bar. All right, I'm going for the coconut. This is probably a bad choice. I hate coconut. <clears throat> oh, it's horrendous. Oh, that's horrendous. Same thing, guys, same thing. I'm just gonna take a peel off of it because I don't even want to waste my stomach on it. Hmm. Kind of what I figured it would taste like. <laughs> if you like coconut, you'll like this one. I fucking hate coconut. So, obviously I'm going to be biased and say I don't like it. Yeah. Um. Overall, they're okay. I definitely think they're worth the, the, the $9 to try a four sample pack. For sure. But to buy them on a consistent basis for 18 bucks, I can't see justifying that. I just can't. That's just me. You might try and think it's the best fucking meal you've ever had in your life or meal bar you've ever had in your life. To me, it's kind of, I'm not a fan of the texture and how much you have to chew it. And the flavor is kind of a little bit on the lackluster side for sure. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's terrible. So as far as ratings, <clears throat> the blueberry one is the best one. Just think of like a Lara bar. Is it a Lara bar? Or RX bar. You know what I'm talking about. The real food bars. Think of that, but like dense as fuck. That's pretty much what these bars are. Like I just bit that little corner and I'm still chewing. This blueberry one, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a 7.5. Uh, then the peanut butter and jelly, I'm going to give a 7.5. The cherry one, I'm going to give a 7. And then the coconut one, I'm going to give a 6.5. I'm just not a fan of coconut, so... I'm just going to be biased towards not liking coconut, right? So, overall, I think to try them out for 9 bucks for a 4-pack, absolutely worth it. But if you're going to buy them on a consistent basis, I think it's pretty high pricey. But... You might end up liking them. You might you might end up liking the texture and everything. This is just my opinion on it. And uh, this is what I think of it. So I do want to thank Sans uh, Bar for sending me these over. I really do appreciate it. Maybe if they reformulate them, maybe I'll try them again. I just think they need some work for sure. Um, hey, that's the whole point of doing reviews, right? Is to see what the fuck they're about and what you think of them and your honest opinion, right? So... This is my honest opinion. I think they need some work with consistency, a little bit of flavor, and easier to eat and chew for sure. Um, and definitely price. I mean, might have to adjust the pricing to buy on a consistent basis. You know, I just don't, I just can't justify $4 for a bar. It's just insanity to me. Um, even when you buy, you know, what is that? Well, I'm trying to do math, that's the top of my head. 24 bars for 80 bucks is their cheapest. You know, if you buy more, you get you get it for less. So what is that? That's still over $3 a bar. So, I mean, I get they're a meal bar, so I get what they're doing. You know, it's a, it's a meal. Can you get a meal for $3 anywhere? No, absolutely not. And it's providing all the vitamins and minerals and proteins and sugars and carbs and complex carbs and... And oats, it's got it's got everything that you need, right, for a meal. So I get what they're doing. I just can't still see justifying that price. And especially when the taste isn't, like, so appealing to make me want to buy it again. Just my opinion on it. And I do want to thank them for sending me it over. Like I said, maybe if they reformulate it, I'll try it again later. But that's just my honest opinion on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for the support. As always, let me know what you want to see next. If you like it, do fucking bad. Subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Scroll, but don't troll. And don't hit me because I'm... Fucking swell. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Auburn Venice, Facebook, Auburn Venice, Snapchat, Auburn Venice, Instagram, Auburn Venice. Don't forget to like my band page, Divide Dimension on Facebook, follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify, and shop over some of at TigerFitness.com using my affiliate link, which will be in the description box below. If you guys want to pick up this, go to Sans 
S-A-N-S, mealbar.com, and check out the bars. Other than that, I'll check you guys later.